That's a love to talk about your car if you wouldn't, if you you'd like to say a little, little, little about it. Uh, well, what is everything? What is this everything? Car? <laughs> Let us know everything about yeah, your car. This one here? We're from the throttle report. Uh -huh. We're from the throttle report. Oh, nice. Yeah. So 600 LT, no cats, straight pipes. Really? This thing's loud then. It's loud. It's loud, yeah. Well, it's loud. It snaps a lot. Yeah. Like Downshifts. All right, so yeah. you take it up to the track at all, or just yeah? I instruct for uh, Ogara Motorsport. Oh, right on! That's cool. And, uh, raced for the Viper Racing League for years. And That's Steve awesome. Vision. Nice. Ran the Grand Am series for a while with GT3 Cup cars. That is oh. way too cool. Okay. So you've got to have a lot of fun. Yeah, I've done it for a while. And the Ogara group is great. Good instructors. You know, we take people out there to buy their McLarens, and they don't know what to do with them. So we show them. Hey, the this is the how car. you drive the car. Yeah, this is what you do. There. <laughs> Don't do this. Do this. Don't do this. And we did the same thing with Vipers for years with Dodge with uh, something called Viper Days, which was a two-day school and racing events at the same time, and then solo racing for the people that were just getting started. See, that's awesome. It's time. I've only done the. Uh, is it Ron Fellows out in uh, Nevada? Yeah, sure. So I've done that a couple times. Mm -hmm. I was out there for three days doing some racing out there. They were teaching me how to drive the. The, what cars are those called? The... The 886s? No, it was, they were like specifically the Wolf cars. Have you heard of those? No, uh -uh. They're all carbon fiber bodies and yeah, they're insane. They're all, they're not production cars obviously, mm -hmm. but for the most part, yeah, they teach you how to drive these cars and they're just, they're those amazing. Those cars I'm sure are a bit like, uh, like go-karts. Yeah, you know, they're the exactly, handling. the handling's insane. Yeah. So it shoots flames out the back? It does actually, you know, in the downshift. So at night you see these blue flames pop. That's, That's awesome. Really What's the most fun car you've ever driven then? You know, the, the most fun I think are the Vipers. Oh really? Because they're unforgiving. You know, you gotta know how to drive that car. Raw horsepower. Especially on the track. And well, you know, most of the steering is done with a throttle. That makes sense. <laughs> Honestly, kick it sideways. Yeah, you're steering with the rear yeah. essentially. Yeah, yeah, it's so true. And and it's funny because it's like the number one most wrecked car out of the out of the dealership. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. Somebody, Somebody ordered it. one. It yeah, special and like you know, pop right into the side of a curb or some shit like that. Yeah, before the guy even picked it up. Right. I heard about that. Yeah. It had like a twelve thousand dollar paint job on yeah, it. You know, it happens a lot. Oh yeah. goodness. <laughs> what do you love the most about this car? Uh, you know the skateboard feeling. It's, it really is like a very tight car with turn in, and because it's mid-engine, uh, it's interesting. Like you don't have to brake so hard going into a corner like you do with the front-engine cars. Yep. So you tap the brake, rotate the car, and stay mid-throttle. Okay. And you feel like it's not going to take you around the corner, but it goes. I got this. I, you know. It's so a it's very, very forgiving well, car. Very well balanced. Very well balanced. Just like the Porsche GT3 Cup cars. Same thing. Like, those cars are so good. Those, it's like, I know you're a shitty driver, but I'm such a good car. <laughs> you can just push it. You. That's <laughs> awesome. You get into a Viper, it's like, no, I know you're a good driver, but I'm going to f*** you up anyways. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so That's I awesome. I would love to buy one of these. Yeah, this thing's the incredible. There's a lot of seats in it, which are great. Yeah, you know, pop this open. Yeah, let's see inside. Thank you. So tell us yeah, a little bit. In. So the center seats are the lightest. Uh, climb in? The lightest, yeah, climb in. The seats are thick. Oh my gosh. You're in, you're in. You are definitely in. Oh my gosh. You're not, you're not moving around in here. No, yeah, the seats literally weigh like nine or 11 pounds a piece. Oh yeah, they're all carbon fiber. Yeah, and they're hollow. Oh my goodness. So I can understand when you said this feels like, yeah, it's you know. a 2,800 pound car. Oh my with, gosh. You know, 600 horsepower and damn close to the same amount of torque. Oh yeah. My gosh. Now this would be a car to drive. I can tell you that. Yeah. My goodness. This car is incredible. This car is incredible. Mm -hmm. All yeah, suede lining. Fantastic ride. Wow. Do you take it out much? Oh, you know, whenever I can, usually Sundays we go through the canyons with a group of folks. Okay. And then uh, we're at Thermal a lot. Thermal's kind of the home track for Ogara Motorsport. Okay. So we're down in Palm Springs and La Quinta a lot. 
Oh my gosh. This thing's way too cool, dude. Need a better track. That is, it's, it's insane. Take it in. This is, ah, holy yeah, hell. It definitely feels like. Woo, yeah, the 911 feels low. This is insane. Yeah. Woo. You are a bucket. Like, this yeah, this is a cockpit. Like it hugs you. You're, you're buried in the car. You can feel everything. This thing's amazing. The three settings are great because you've got sport, you've got track, you've got normal driving. Now, you set it up for just manual shifting or just regular automatic. Explain, explain what it does in those three modes when you're in a... Uh... So, so, the normal settings are like street settings. It shifts on its own, the suspension's very compliant, it's soft. Okay. Uh, you know, so you don't really feel much of the road, and then the... Does it, dial the does it dial the horsepower down for you yeah, at all? Yeah, it dials everything a little bit. Okay. And then the sport um, mode, you said? The sport mode is aggressive. Like the sport mode, suspension, a little more feel of the road. Yep. In track mode for the for the uh, suspension, you can feel everything. Like and I can feel totally, a penny going over yeah, a penny, you, essentially. You totally control it. The sport mode on the uh, on the horsepower side, on the power side, it's violent compared to the track. So if you turn it on the track, it's more controlled. As far really? As throttle management. Yeah. That's interesting. So yeah, I was just gonna say. I would thought. Yeah, I, would. I know, and I thought that too. But after driving around a lot, it's like, wow, sport mode is a little more violent, a little more choppy, and a track mode is a little more managed. Is that because so they don't want? They don't want the car to be unsettled. That's what I was gonna say. Unsettled going into yeah. corners and stuff like that, especially when you're going in and coming out. Yeah, it's well, a hell of a ride. Oh my gosh, yeah. I can only imagine. No, it's nice. Well, I just want to thank you for your time. My pleasure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, check us out on the throttle. Yeah. Check us out on the throttle report. We'll be on YouTube and Instagram. All right. And we'll feature your car. So. Yeah. We'll put this in there, and that's you know kind of what we're doing. And you know, if you have those track days that you're going to be there, we'd love to come out and film the track days. Absolutely. All right. I'll, I'll give you guys the schedule. Please. Yeah. We'd love that. We'd love to come out.